All right, so it's pretty much been torture. I've been having these guys sitting around for a while. So because of that, I did make a few little changes. This is, um, this didn't come with the set. This is uh, a Sylvie head that I had laying around. And the reason why I've been so anxious to share this with you guys is because I made a few orders at once. And now I can finally do this because, let's see if I can get this on camera. There we go. Yes. All right. Trash box number two. Mm, yes. Yes. In a very roundabout way, I finally got the final two items on my Monster High wish list. Blob and Ice Girl by getting two different sets. This one I actually got separate all on her own. And then I got two different sets of just pure glorious trash. Okay, I think that shot's pretty good. A little explaining. I discovered that if you go on eBay and if you type in the magic word lot, L-O-T, lot, uh, a beautiful world of magic and wonder opens up before you and bestows upon you cheap dolls for around 20 bucks in a huge pile of trash. I uh, cannot put that genie back in its bottle, so to speak. Uh, so I spent a little bit of money and once again, just like with my last haul, I'm able to do this because I'm financially able to do this right now. So that's how, because I did drop a good, this is a quick $70 right here. Um, for me anyway, for Monster Highs, you know, this one I bought on her own and I added the wig myself. She did come with this, the pink wig that. They, that everyone seems to desperately want to sell on eBay. So, um, Ice Girl is the first one I bought. I really, really wanted these shoes, so that's the one I went for. Ice Girl is a little rare. Uh, if you go for bid, um, if you bid for her, you could probably get her a little cheaper. Um, there are ones up on eBay right now for like 20 bucks that are naked. Um, I wanted the one that came with the dress and the shoes, so it was quick 30. You probably could find her a little cheaper. Um, this is just the one that I found. Then what happened is, again, I found these magical words of typing in Monster High Lot. So then everyone to the left of Ice Girl is Lot 1, and everyone to the right of Ice Girl is Lot 2. Um, this set came all together, and the reason why I got this set was I was just browsing. This is actually kind of like something I bought on a whim. I rediscovered the Create a Monster eyeball change sets. I had completely forgotten that these existed, which is weird because I have one, but um, I saw this lot of these five with the two create a monster, and so I decided to go for it. So that was another quick $20. And then over here's another quick $20, and the main thing, the biggest reason why I got this one, unfortunately, she doesn't have any clothes and she is missing an arm. I am going to try and remedy that either this video or some other video, but I have some plans. I, I had to prepare for this, but I do have some plans to fix her missing lower arm situation. But these two are the last two Monster Highs on my Monster High wish list, my personal wish list, not anyone else's, just mine. Like, I don't even have words because they're so perfect and beautiful. And um, I'm going to mess them up. Um, they are a very expensive set, yes. Don't be surprised if you have to spend a quick, like, 80 bucks if you want these guys in box. And then, basically, all of these guys are the ones that came with this one. But I couldn't pass that up, 20 bucks for a Blob Girl plus friends. I, could, I couldn't, I can't, I can't pass that up. It's not in my DNA. Why did I want these guys so bad? Well, it's obvious. It's because their torsos are kind of see-through, and I think that's really awesome. Fearfully Feisty or Mad in Love is this one. Spooky Sweet and Frightfully Fierce, that's that one. So the only one I'm missing is the blue one. I don't know if I'm going to get it. I don't really feel a strong need to get it. I don't know, maybe. Like I said, these were kind of on a whim. Um, so this is a Create a Monster Torso um, Sylvie Head. That's my edition. Uh, this is a Gorgon, one random Gorgon leg, one random Gorgon upper arm, the Gorgon head. Uh, this is an add-on pack wig. 
And then the rest of it, we have one B-girl leg, uh, a yellow torso except for the upper arm, which is like the create a monster add-on pack except for the upper arm for what... Yeah, that one's a mess. Um, that one's a little bit pieced together. I'm sure I'll mess with it. So this one, again, Gorgon Head, the gray torso, which is just a create a monster gray torso. They just sold torsos at one point. These upper arms and upper legs are from the dragon, the create a monster dragon. And then the lower feet are a add-on glow-in-the-dark pack. This one is the Create a Monster Vampire, including a Create a Monster pink torso. And I think this wig goes on this one. I don't know. I just put it on her for now. But um, basically, she's like um, Draculaura, but Create a Monster. That's that one. Um, she does not have lower arms. Again, we'll be getting to that later. I have a few plans. So over here, this is a creator monster um lab monster there's like a lab kit with like plain bodies that you're supposed to like scribble all over that's this one apparently there's one there's like one white one one like green one one pink one i think that's what it is anyway i'd have to double check someone obviously scribbled on her face because that was the point of a lot of these sets it's the same with this torso is that they're meant to be scribbled on and we're going to have fun with that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to remove that because this is an ABS head. And I figured worst case is I just would paint. I would just like seal it and paint over it. Like it's not a big deal for me. This is actually a pretty good person uh, that she came home to. So I looked it up. This one is from the Monster Maker set. So that's where she's from. This one is a ghost head, which really needs to be cleaned. We'll do that in a minute. One ghost arm just one upper ghost arm and her ghost legs with a green create a monster torso and an extra green arm from somewhere okay <laughs> so again a few of these are a little bit piecemeal together this i thought was another really good addition to the um set she needs to be cleaned up but this is the create a monster mummy and from what i understand she also is a pretty penny on ebay i like her face a lot actually I think her face is very pretty, but I'm probably going to do something with that. I don't know. Apparently, she's also kind of a rare set, from what I understand. And the random gold specks in Mummy Girl are supposed to be there. That's how they did the set. Don't ask me why they did it that way. But she's supposed to be bespeckled for some reason. This is the Create a Monster Cat. She doesn't have her ears. I don't have the wigs or the ears for these. But I'm probably not going to be keeping her a cat. Just straight up putting that out there. This is the Create a Monster Werewolf. And this is another one that just has like one random arm. So again, we'll be messing with these later. She actually came with her wig. So now I have two of these wigs. Uh, yeah, she's a werewolf. So she doesn't come with her ears again. Okay, and this one is a witch. Yes, there's literally a Create a Monster just called Witch kind of vague but hey the point is you're supposed to create whatever you want out of it so what i want to do now that i have my lovely little victims is i want to clean these <laughs> because i haven't done that yet so i just want to give a shout out to the people on ebay who are nice enough to sell me their old crap because i greatly appreciate it and i also just want to give a shout out to the people on my youtube who watch this stuff because I don't know what's wrong with me. So um, I don't know why you keep coming back and watching. I don't, I don't know. And I'm using Lysol wipes. So that's what the heck I'm doing right now. So I'm going to sit here and I'm just going to like scrub these guys down. And I'll be back when something interesting happens. So when it comes to this random one. Um, but as it turns out, these tattoo stickers... Because that's what this is, is the remnants of some of the add-on pack um, tattoos. Apparently, if you just use a little bit of a Lysol wipe and some elbow grease, you can get those tattoos off. Which is very good news for the ABS parts. So you do have to be a little aggressive. And you could probably also use like a Mr. Clean eraser as well. That would also probably work. And I'm just going to use a little bit of rubbing alcohol. 
And the upside about rubbing alcohol is that you can use it on the ABS parts without having to worry about using too much and having them melt, like with acetone. Again, you have to use a little bit of elbow grease, but the tattoos are indeed coming up. All right, there you go. Here, let's do the middle. Wow, that's a major improvement. And what comes to mind right now is uh, give it up to Mattel for having the forethought to somehow come up with a tattoo design that wouldn't stain the ABS bodies that badly. Because I was expecting that to be way more stained. And instead, it's actually pretty good. So I'm going to finish cleaning this body off, and I'll be back. And there you go. I'm going to remove the face on this little one right here. I do actually think this face is really cute and not really beyond salvaging at all. If I was to keep this face as is, I would just simply fix the lips and probably just kind of spread out the eyeshadow some and just touch up the eyebrows. But this is a Create a Monster head, and I want to make things weird, not surprisingly. But uh, I just feel like this would be a wasted opportunity if I leave this head alone. So I'm just going to be using, again, 91% rubbing alcohol and attempt to remove the face. Lysol did seem to loosen the face up a bit. Yep, there it goes. Since this head is ABS, I don't want to use acetone on it. Because acetone can potentially warp the plastic. I know some people do that where they just use acetone anyway but I don't want to do that. Kudos to whoever did this face because they definitely didn't use Sharpie because Sharpie would not come off of here. <laughs> Gotta get my magic eraser. I'm gonna go over that face a few times and see if I can get the staining off. And the way the magic eraser works is that it's a very slight sandpaper. From what I understand, it's like very, very lightly textured to gently remove marks. That one eye came out really well. Just thank you so much to whoever had this head and did not use Sharpie on it, because I was so worried that it was like pen or Sharpie. I don't know what they used. Maybe like watercolor pencil, maybe? Because it doesn't feel like the tattoos, but thank goodness they did not use Sharpie, because otherwise I would have had to spray paint that. And while I feel like that is a very underutilized tool in the doll making community, or customizing community, I should say, it is a little bit of a pain in the butt, especially if you want to do a lot of it. All right, wonderful. Look at that. All right, so uh, what else came with the second batch of Monster High was these two add-on packs. This one I've actually gotten before on clearance at the store. Like, I bought it personally for, like, I don't remember, but... I have this already, so that's good. And then this one I've never gotten before, and I'm actually tempted to open it because I actually really like that dress and I think those little yellow shoes look really cute. Uh, I don't know if I'm actually going to open these yet or not, though. And so I have just, like, this entire bag of these wigs. So over here I have the Saran wigs. And then over here I have all of these little chunky... Just kind of plasticky wigs. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with these. These all came with the various sets that I've been getting. How did I get two of these? I don't even know how I got two of these. Okay, okay. So those are all the big chunky wigs that I have. I don't... I don't know what I'm going to do. I... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with these guys. I Just straight up. Putting it out there. In between all of that mess uh here are my old here's my old sylvie arms and legs so i have those at my disposal the other thing i have at my disposal is this arrived in between the two lots that i bought is i specifically went out of my way to buy these little this four set of arms and um this was ten dollars for four arms and a lot of arms on ebay anyway are like ten dollars for like one arm <laughs> or like five dollars for like one arm so that's why i just bought the four arms because they were ten dollars to replace these it can cost you a pretty penny now 
These are new style arms, so I will have to mess with the pegs. But I figured, hey, that would work. And they came with little accessories. Yeah, so I bought these in anticipation of I knew that I was going to get some dolls that were missing arms. And the other thing I have in here is just an F-ton of masks. These I spray painted white. I did that a long time ago. I might do... I don't know what I'm going to do with the masks yet. I just don't know. Um, these are extra Bratzilla's legs. These are extra B-girl legs. And then these are a bunch of little extra um, create a monster mood peg. I don't know what you call them things. What I'm going to do right now is mess with these guys for a little bit. So just real quick, something I noticed messing with all these various little arms and hands and stuff is that new style monster high arms, it's not just the pegs that are a little bigger. The arms and hands themselves are also a little bit bigger. Personally, I don't really care, but that's just a heads up. If you want a little less hassle, you might want to specifically look for old style um, monster high arms or non relaunch. I don't know what I don't know what terms people are using just just be wary that the newer ones are going to be a little bigger than the older ones. I've made some decisions messing with these two. And I do know that these came from an expensive set. However, I specifically sought out secondhand ones of these in order to modify them. So I'm sorry. So what I have decided after some careful thought is I mix and match them together, which I really, really like. And I am going to use some vinyl spray paint. I want to use up the materials that I have, so what I want to do is use some vinyl paint and paint these white to match the haunted ghost spectra kind of legs. I think these are the Kratom Monster Ghost legs specifically. Yes, I could potentially use just this one, but the thing is, um, I actually really like this body, like, a lot, and I kind of want to keep it in one piece. I think this body is awesome, so I don't want to use these hands. So when it comes to this Gorgon head and these random parts that I have, I decided that I'm just going to F around with it and do whatever I want to do. I have these dragon parts and this Gorgon head, so I'm like, why not? Just go crazy. So these are some Bratzilla's legs. I think I'm going to do them like that. I have to hot glue the pegs to get them to fit. And then these are Sylvie, um, Sylvie Timberwolf arms, leftover arms. I decided that... She's going to be getting these arms, and I'm just going to, like, mess. I don't even know how. I'm just going to, like, mess with the armband somehow. So for the arms on these two, I'm going to be using vinyl and fabric in white. Uh, Duplicolor vinyl and fabric in white for their arms. So next step was taking the Sylvie Timberwolf arms and murdering the pegs so that way they would fit in old style upper arms. And the way I did that was just with an X-Acto knife. And then I used a combination of hot glue and Instamorph plastic in order to get the pegs sturdy enough to fit in the upper arm. Okay, and that's how she turned out. Even if you're using Instamorph plastic for your Monster High arm pegs, these arm pegs are so small, don't be shocked if they break easily and if you have to replace them a few times. If you do use Instamorph, it does come in quite a large bag, so it should be pretty easy to replace, but I just find that Monster High pegs are just finicky in general. Worst case is just hot glue it in. Good luck is all I really can say. These are my tricks. It's not a perfect solution. That's all I can tell you. Um, probably the best solution would be to like cast a new resin arm or something like that. Um, and that would be expensive. So I think for a haul video, I think I'm just going to leave it here. Uh, mainly because I do actually have a bunch of material still coming in the mail. But I have to wait on the mail. <laughs> I have to wait for them to come in. I'm waiting on faux fur fabric, I'm waiting on doll extensions, I'm waiting on clothes and shoes. And I think when I get all of those materials in, then I'll start customizing these guys more because I'll know what kind of hair I have to work with, what kind of clothes, what kind of designs I have to work with. Also, this is by no means the final placement of heads because I've been messing with different head arrangements a lot. This is just simply 
what they look like right now. Um, and when it comes to these four, plus a bonus head at this point, because I had these two heads sitting around. So these four bodies down here don't have arms yet. I will be working on that. So if we move these four out of the way, plus the bonus head. So that's what these all look like. So these all have arms and legs. That's a miracle. So these were all vinyl painted. So I do highly recommend using vinyl and fabric spray paint. It dries within 30 minutes and it won't make the vinyl on your dolls turn sticky. This is something that I've found through a lot of trial and error. This is just the best thing I've found. You could probably use any brand. You know, I'm not married to the brand, but this is the, the Duplicolor one is the one that I can find locally. As always, if you can't find anything locally that I use, try online because I also get a lot of things online. So thank you very much for watching this video. I will have more videos including these guys up eventually. I have been updating a little slower lately on my channel due to work. My day job has been keeping me busy lately. So quick shout out to the people who watch my junk because um, I've been really shocked at the amount of response I've been getting lately in general. And uh, shout out to the people who put their old crappy monster highs on eBay because I will buy them. Oh, quick addition. I also got this new tripod. I haven't figured out how I want to use it yet, but um, I invested in $7 in that. So with that, I'm going to consider this whole video done. So if you want to see more from me, you can like, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time.